I think that many of the contemporary objections to the existence of God are based upon the impossibility of God's having certain attributes. For example, that God cannot be both eternal and omniscient at the same time, or that God cannot be both all-powerful and all-loving. Uh, the claim is that these are incompatible with one another, and therefore it's absolutely critical that Christian apologists be able to defend the coherence of theism. That is to say that the idea of God, as characterized by his various attributes, is a coherent, logically consistent idea. Because if the very concept of God is incoherent, it follows immediately that he does not and cannot exist. Think about the problem of evil. This is a perfect example where they claim that God cannot be all-loving and all-powerful, and yet there be evil in the world. So you've got to give up one of those attributes. You've got to say, well, he's not really all good, or, well, he's not really all powerful, and so that's how he can coexist with the evil in the world. So that would be an example uh, of having to defend these attributes of God in the face of the evil and suffering in our world. So this is a vital part of the apologetic task, defending the coherence of theism.